So let's add a provision here to edit the profile here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do this in two ways. The first way is the normal submit form that we're going to have here. But because there's an image here that we need to add, I'm going to also use some Ajax so that we see how we can upload using Ajax so that you can see some progress because sometimes you can upload very large images and it would take a while to reload the page. It would be nice to see some progress on the upload process. But for now, let's use the normal way and then we're going to convert that same normal way into an Ajax format. Okay, so what I'll do is, first of all, we go to this tab and then let's remove what's everything that's here. Let's change a few things because in the overview, we do have full name here, but um, I think we have first name and last name in our PHP my admin. Let me check in the database. So if we go to the database and let's look at the users table. So in the users table, we have first name and last name. So let's use that instead of full name here. But the rest uh, is pretty much okay. All right then, so let's do that. So I'm going to go to the view. Uh, so we are in, inside app, wait, inside views. And this is in the admin and that's the profile view. So I want to look for the edit profile. This one is about, there's some text here in the about section, but what we'll do is let's re, let's copy this because this about section, we didn't remove the original text. So let's do that now. So it goes quite a bit. Maybe I should enable text wrap so that it wraps around, but text wrap confuses me sometimes. So that's why I don't use it. Okay, so about, we add that there, and the rest of these will get exactly what's here and put it there. So we have company here, for example, and we have job. Let's put everything where it is supposed to be. And country, let's put country here. But these are empty fields for now, so it won't really show anything, but at least we will get some errors if any of these fields do not actually exist in the database. That way we can know to add them. So, yep, that actually does it. And then there's a profile image area here. Mm, and uh, this is for when we are editing the profile. So profile edit is right here. That's cool. But let's see what we have so far on the main page. So none, no errors, and so it means every, uh, every field is accounted for. So let's go to the edit profile section here. I have first name here, so I'm just going to duplicate the first name to make two of these. So instead of full name, we get first name. And we'll do the same thing we can leave the ID. What's, what really matters is the name, but why not? So let's edit all the instances of this. Okay, and then value, uh, we remove this. So what we want to do is on value, we want to set value using this right here. So I'm going to copy one of these and actually just what's inside, copy. So the value will be set value, that function we used before. Let's close that like so. And then let's put uh, raw first name there. Oh, wait a minute. Here we just put the first name like that. And then comma row first name like that okay so this will get from the post variable as we've been doing all along but this will get from the 
uh, this will be like the default value. So if I go to, where is this uh, core function? Functions, right? There's our set value function right here, but it only takes one item for now, right? So this is the key it checks from the post variable, but we need a way to give it a default value so that in case this data is being read first from the database, it should prioritize that. So what I'll do is I'll put a comma here and give it another value. I'll call it default and I'll put an empty string there. <coughs> excuse me so here i'm going to say if let's put an if statement here and say if a default is not empty so let's say if not empty default value so if there's something in the default value let's prioritize that shall we so we'll put that and then we'll put an else statement if not empty then we do that so we start with this and only one of these should run that's why we've put an else statement so if default is not empty, then let's return that default value. Just like that. Okay, great. That solves our problem, which means now uh, it's going to return this first if it's not empty. <coughs> Actually, this is wrong. What we need to do is to check first if the key here is not empty and then return that. And then let us check if default is not empty because once we post let's say we click the post button then this will always exist in our case the default so we'll never get to the post value so my bad here what i will do is i need to swap these guys so i am going to move the else to here and then i will move the entire if statement to there and lower it like this okay great so we start with the not empty post if it is empty uh, then we go for the default value all righty then so now let's refresh and let's go to edit and as you can see there is mary in the first name everything is working fine goody so <clears throat> In this particular case, if I put Mary 1 like this and then hit the save button, oh boy, this is a problem we have now uh, because these tabs don't automatically uh, become activated here. So we need a way to activate this because once I refresh the page, it actually goes to the wrong tab. I have to click on this one to see the other one. So let me try with Mary 1 there and click save it goes here but if I click back I don't actually find Mary one here okay so that could be because if you look at the URL here you see a question mark and you see all the fields are here so it means we are using a get uh, method to post this and we are not supposed to use that we're supposed to use the post method so I have to find the form and change that so right here is the form and i'm going to say method post that should solve our problem okay great so since we already know this probably works let's do the same thing for last name here i'm going to change this to last name and here as well last and then i will uh, get the value as well copy that just change the key to last okay great first name last name that's great so at this point if I now refresh the page <clears throat> and then I add a one to Mary or even Jane and then click save even though i go to another page if i click back here you see that it maintains the edited version here which is nice so let's do the same for the others we're going to fix this tab thing no worries so we will go here copy let's do this rather quickly um the about section has a text area, so the text area contains this data. So let's get everything there 
and paste. Okay, set value, change this last name to about. Company, that's the same thing there. Let's change that to company. Uh, same thing here, job, change that to job. Uh, country, same thing here, country. Okay, let's go to phone. Email. And then, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Twitter profile. Oh, did we add this though? I don't think we added this. So I'm going to leave this out for now. We didn't add these guys. Also where there's uh, save changes, I want to add a another button here. So I'll duplicate this button. This one will be of type button. So I will just change this to button as the type so that it does not submit. And then I will put an A tag around it. Uh, let's move it like that and then we have a class let's move it actually let's move the save changes let's float that to the end so that it's on the right side this one is primary so let's put danger so that we know this one is saving this one is uh, back I don't even know where back we go to but uh, there we go uh -huh. I just know that we need root there in the link. We also definitely need admin and <clears throat> I think we'll leave it at that. Okay, so let me refresh. No need to resend the data. Let me just, uh, you can click on dashboard and then come back to profile and then click edit profile. Okay, so there we go. Uh, okay, so address, we missed that. Where is address? Right here. That's the wrong thing to paste, so copy again here. Let's go to address. And change country to address. All right. Cool. Let's get back here. All right, so everything is empty. Email exists, except these guys. We'll add these guys. We need to create a filter that uh, uh, looks for URLs on our behalf so that we can verify that these are valid URLs before saving. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, we are good here. If I make changes, things are going to be fine. Now we have to deal with uh, this image thing. So I'm just going to add a an image browser thing. So if I click right now, nothing happens. So what I want to to change this. So let me find this input. So I'm going to find one that says a file. Yeah, there's so many files here. So what I'll do is I want one which says type is equal to file. Let's see if I can find that input. It doesn't seem like it exists. So I think it has text like change. Let me remove the uh, case sensitivity. Change profile. What's the two tip here? One way to find something, upload new profile image. Okay. You can inspect the element and then try to see what element it is and then copy that text. Like for example, copy out HTML and then put it in the search here and it will show you right there. So this is where we are. Uh, upload, remove my profile image. So we don't need this delete profile image because there are two buttons there, one to upload, one to delete, but we just need the uploader. So this is the one that we need. So it's okay that it's got that hash 
and it's a yeah it's an a tag so let's change the a tag to a label instead so remove all of that and change it to a label the reason why I want to change it to a label is because I can add stuff within the label. Okay, so now inside the label, I have an icon like this. Uh, let me move this back here. Okay, so I have a label here. And inside there's a... Uh, a thing here so just to see that nothing has changed here even though we've changed it to a label let's go back as you can see let me just change the text back to white so here I'm just going to say text white uh, that should do it let's refresh it's annoying that I have to keep coming back here but still if I now click it's still clickable so inside here I can put a <clears throat> an input of type file but then I don't want this to show really so but what I've done here is if I refresh you see that uh, there's a browse an item here so I don't want it to show I don't even want to maybe I can give it a name I'll say um, what did we name this is it image in here uh, we didn't even actually add that Okay, so let's go to structure real quickly and let's add one more column after slug. Let's call it image. You can call it thumbnail if you want. Let's put uh, 1024. We're just putting a link in there. So save that. And now we have an extra column there. That's good, called image. So I'll name this one image. But then I want uh, some styles here. And I want to put the display to none so it doesn't actually show. So there's an input there, it doesn't show. But because we've wrapped it inside a label, when we click the label, we'll still be clicking this item, even though it's not even showing. So as you can see here, now if I click, I'm asked to browse for a file, which is nice. Okay, so let's continue in the next video where we actually display the file here once somebody selects it.